Okay, let's go. The Cooper and Anthony Show. Um, we found some things that you probably don't know about rats. Not the band rat. Oh. But actual rats. Yeah, the little sciencey guys. Okay, the little. Mm. Yeah, yeah, those little okay. guys. Okay. Those guys. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, did you know say- that rat's original name was Mickey Rat? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the band. Oh, the band. No, Chad, not the band. Actual rats, the little furry creatures, the little rodents we're talking about. Stephen Piercy? No. No? Oh, the little rodents. Oh, oh, little oh, rodents. Okay. Yeah, you know. those things. You know, those little things. Yeah, but, okay. they, but they don't sing Way Cool Junior like Rat does. <laughs> no, that's true. They don't. Well, you know, maybe we can train them. They could be trained to do lots of stuff. When I was teaching undergrad, um, we used to bring the, the live rats in. They used to have to do... This, um, they do a concert for you? No, no, the little rats, the the Chad, the animal. Did they play round and round. Chad, the animal. Okay, I got the little it. brown furry rodent. I'm talking about. All right. We used to teach um, conditioning, uh, condition response and unconditioned response with the rats and the mazes and stuff like that. The problem was, <laughs> I had a morning class and an afternoon class, and we had to use the same rats. Oh, no. So the problem is, now the morning class, we did really well, because the rats are really into it. They're really hungry, but the kids kept feeding them to, to train them over and over. <laughs> so by the time the afternoon came around, you'd come in, all the rats would be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't want to play. <laughs> They're done by that point. They were done Leave by that alone. point. Leave me alone. They were full. They I've were tired. My food. Yeah, you really, so I'd have to explain and say, well, in a perfect world, the rat would actually be awake. <laughs> and here's what he'd be doing, and here's how you would train him. Um, so, okay. So we found some things that you probably don't know about rats, and you didn't realize you wanted to know this stuff, but mm-hmm. it's interesting. The things they didn't cover on Behind the Music. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, the brown rat and the black rat are the most prominent, there, and the reason why they're, they enjoy a nearly nationwide distribution, mm-hmm. they're really good at stowing away on ships. That's how the whole thing started with getting rats around the world. Oh, okay. They would stow away on ships, and the ship would dock, and they'd, they'd run out. out. They wouldn't mm-hmm. pay for the ticket. They wouldn't pay for the ticket. Rats okay. are cheap. Yeah, okay. rats don't pay. They stow away on board. They eat the food, that kind of thing. Um, that's why there's brown rats and black rats all over the world. Um, in the mid-19th century, a guy named Jack Black, not notorious, not, uh, what's it called? Tenacious, Tenacious, Tenacious D. D. Great, not the Tenacious greatest D. band ever. <laughs> okay. But uh, a guy named Jack Black, who was the rat catcher for Queen Victoria. Now, he found several color variations of the brown rat. He domesticated them and trained them, and even the queen herself owned some of them as pets. She had a a rat pet? Uh Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, there's some famous paintings of her where she's sitting with her little rat friends. She actually had a rat pack, Anthony. (laughs) She had a rat pack. (laughs) That's where that comes from, Queen Victoria. Now, rats' front teeth can grow four and a half to five and a half inches per year. Can you believe that? So they should go around looking like vampires, right? <laughs> well, no, they wear them down because they're continuously gnawing on everything around oh. them. They gnaw on cement, they gnaw on brick, they gnaw yeah. on wood, lead pipes. But if they didn't, they'd be vampire rat. They'd be vampire rats. Oh, exactly. That would be a great movie. Okay. Now, um, this is sort of interesting, and we were, you know, I was thinking as I was reading through this, like, what would be a Cooper rat? What would be a Chad rat? What would be an Anthony rat? Mm-hmm. This would be the Cooper rat. A female rat can mate as many as 500 times with various males during a six-hour period. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my college years. Yes. <laughs> Cooper had weekends like that in college. I did. <laughs> the rat train. That's the Cooper rat. <laughs> Football now, uh, team. <laughs> <laughs> Entire dormitories. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing, right? So that would be the Cooper rat, I think. Okay. Um, now, <laughs> now this is interesting. A rat can tread water for three days, and they can survive being flushed down a toilet. Really? Yeah. Don't you think that's interesting? I, I just want to know the guy who came up. It's it's not two days. It's not four days. <laughs> <laughs> he put the rat in the thing. It's a tread. <laughs> he stayed awake for three days watching that rat tread water. The yeah. fourth day, it sunk. But three days. <laughs> no, the fourth day, they flush it down the toilet and swam back up. <laughs> that's how they figured that one out. Now, not this is very interesting. Not all rats live co- close to humans. 56 known species live in remote habitats like marshlands and rainforests. Mm. And some rat species are even endangered. <laughs> what? Like we would care if they're endangered. I know. 
Well, no, but they, you know they're important to our to our ecosystem. Lack of communication. <laughs> <laughs> He's thinking rat, rat song. Uh, yeah, that's track six. Here okay. we go. Okay, now keep going. A, there's a Hindu temple dedicated to um, the rat goddess Karni Mata, and there's 20,000. Wasn't 000- she in Wilson Phillips? <laughs> yeah, she was. Exactly. She was in Wilson, Wilson Phillips, not in rat. Um, <laughs> now, at this Hindu temple, there's 20,000 rats running around, and people believe that they're all in reincarnations of this particular uh, goddess. So they all go there to visit the rats. Okay. So they go like it'd be like going to a rat concert. <laughs> it would be like that. <laughs> go ahead and visit the rats. <laughs> hey kids, let's go visit the rats. Now if you go visit the rats, you should bring them their favorite foods, which we Jeez. know are no. They like scrambled eggs. Do they really? They like macaroni Lacka. and cheese. So and do they, I. And they like corn. <laughs> so do I. I'm that rat. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much my diet too. Maybe that's okay. So all right, so that's the Anthony rat. Yes. So the Anthony rat is scrambled eggs. Yes. Mac and cheese. There you go. And corn. And you can actually mix them all up together. Now no, we, no, 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 no. <laughs> that would be fine. I'm getting lightheaded. Now here's the Chad rat. Okay. Rats, don't worry about the junk food because rats eat their own feces. <laughs> Does that mix? <laughs> That's yeah, probably mixing, Eating though. one's feces would be considered mixing, I believe. Oh, okay. So that wouldn't be the Chad rat. That, no, feces is not Chad friendly. <laughs> oh, okay. No. See, how would you know if you've never tried yeah, it? <laughs> feces is not in the Chaditarian diet. But they do that? Yeah. Do they really? Yeah. Because, well, it has nutritional value. Okay. Um, not now, re- mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not yours. That's really true, actually. Recycle cookies. Now, a recent study at the uh, National Institute of Health found that decreasing the caloric intake of rats mm-hmm. expands their lifespan. Now, they did this because they wanted to see. This is actually a really big study they, that, they, that they used as a premise for humans, that less calories increases lifespan. And it started with the, these rats. Mm-hmm. Can, you, can you put on I Want a Woman next? <laughs> this is not All Request Weekend. <laughs> this is not the Rat All Request Weekend, just so you know. Okay, I gotta find it first. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. Um, now there's a there's a sport called rat baiting. Track? I'll just talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> there's a very popular sport called rat baiting in 19th century London. And what it is was, that? It was a man or a dog against hundreds of rats. And there's a very famous um, bull terrier named Jacko, 13 pounds. Mm. He set the record when he killed 100 rats in five minutes and 28 seconds. How? They just, they run after them. They go in the, you know, a lot of these terriers are, are ratters. That's why they're ratters. But did they, like, bite them? Yeah. Oh, okay. How long yeah, did it take? Took them uh, five minutes and 28 seconds. You got 100 rats killed. That's wow. about exactly the amount of time it took Nirvana to kill the band rat. <laughs> 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 However long Smells Like Teen Spirit is, that, that's it. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> he's stuck. This, he's stuck on the band. I'm, I'm listening to the rat facts. Now, were either one of you born in um, 1960 or 1972? 72. Oh, okay. So, if you were born in 1972, if you were born in 48, I 60, mean, I was alive in 72. I wasn't born that year. Oh, okay. okay. Well, if you were born in 1948, 1960, 1972, 1984. Or 1996, then you are a rat. That's that's the year of the rat, according to Chinese. You can't astrology. call a guy a rat. No, 1980. Not, not in my family. 1984 was the year of the of rat with round and round. <laughs> oh yeah. And that was the year, right? 84 was one of the years. 84 was round and round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but no, you can't call a guy a rat. You can't. No, 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 no rat. But 84 really was the year of the rat, right? <laughs> yes, it was. Now this is why there really wouldn't be a Cooper rat. Okay. Because rats do not sweat. <laughs> That's one of those little tidbits about rats. Do they glisten or what do they do? <laughs> they don't glisten. They don't sweat. Then how do they sweat? They regulate their temperature by constricting and expanding blood vessels in their tail. That's the problem. i got to get myself a tail. <laughs> if I get a tail and go on CNN, I won't sweat. The band rat never had any problem with tail. <laughs> They got tail and sweat. Keep going. Okay, okay. Now, rats are known to transmit several potentially You've got to play diseases. round and round before this is over. <laughs> we only have a couple minutes left. I can't see a laugh at all. Oh, man. 
<laughs> I'm just going to talk to myself about this. Okay, sorry. Okay, so rats are known to transmit several uh, potentially fatal diseases to humans. However, rabies is not one of them. Really? You cannot get rabies from a rat. What, they don't get rabies? I guess not. Okay. It's extremely, extremely rare for humans to get rabies from a rat. Well, they don't tend to carry it, and they don't tend to bite us. So what diseases do they transmit, does it say? Oh, we get the plague from them. Oh, see, we I'd get, rather uh, have the, the rabies. Q fever, Wiles disease, viral hemorrhaging, fever. I, I believe the band rat stuff. transmitted a lot of diseases <laughs> I'm as well. sure they did. Well, no, that was more STDs. That's different. So <laughs> Anthony just fell over. <laughs> you can get STDs from the band rat, He's but not from me. an actual rat. Okay. He's killing me with this. <laughs> I'll be here all week, by the way. <laughs> oh, good. Thank goodness. <laughs> now, um, did you know that rats, uh, they don't have gallbladders or tonsils, but they do have belly buttons. Now, how would somebody know they have a belly button? You just pick it up and turn it over and you see a belly <laughs> there, button. There it is. How hard is it to figure that out? <laughs> but you know, it doesn't turn have tonsils. Turn it over. There it is. <laughs> but you can open up its mouth and go, no, no tonsils. Right. <laughs> Because the rat comes and says, my throat's killing me. And the doctor opens up its mouth mm-hmm. and says, well, I can't take your tonsils out because you don't have any. It's nice to know they don't get sore throats. That's right. They don't get sore yeah. throats. The rats. Yeah. 